Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here and today is day 11 and part 2 of Search for the Seamstress. So I'm back inside the hotel right now and I was just inside of the Uber ride and the driver cancelled when he found out that I was going to the mainland. So I'll tell you all more about all that's happening once we get inside of the car because but I just, I'm upset right now. So basically, Lagos is split up into two different parts. There's the island and then there's the mainland. And the island and the mainland are different. They have different cultures, different looks, different feels, and they're also not close to one another. But the doggone ride said that it was going to be 10,000 Naira, three times the normal amount because there's a surge. So if you want to come to Nigeria, to Lagos and you want to take Uber, just know that traffic out here is horrendous and terrible. And because traffic is horrendous and terrible, you end up paying the price because as soon as traffic starts getting bad, like if you don't leave your house by eight, nine o'clock in the morning, then you may get stuck in traffic. Right now it is only noon and already there's traffic getting to the mainland. So the driver didn't want to go to the mainland because he's like, oh, I'm getting off soon. Do, 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 do. So I was like, go ahead and cancel then. Because he didn't want to cancel, he wanted me to cancel. I was like, no, because if I cancel, then I maybe charge the fee. But nonetheless, so just to give you a brief synopsis so that we could just go straight forward into the next video. When my when my associate, when my contact found out that Soso was not going to may not be have been able to get the dresses done by Christmas, he put out a call to action to his network and started asking people who could get this dress done in a rush. So here I am, I got my fabric inside the bag, getting ready to go to a seamstress because he found another seamstress who guaranteed that she could get it done before Christmas, before we head to the village. And her price was actually 25% of what Soso's was. So it was very, it was very inexpensive and very reasonable. And because on the mainland, the prices are different as well. Like I said, people are different. The living is different. Everything is different. So the price was like 25% of what Sosa was charging. But then when we add the Uber ride in to and from, that takes away any, that takes away any amount that I would have saved. And then now I, I got to call for another Uber. Who knows what the doggone prices may be once I call for it again. I'm just, I'm... I'm perturbed and I'm sick about this. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Hello, Knockouts. Tanya TKO here and I am inside of the Uber and I'm so excited because when that other driver canceled, because he didn't want to go to the mainland, he played himself because now I'm in a new Uber and he seems so nice. His name is Omotayo and we are getting ready to head to the mainland together. Um, and then also when when we waited just a little while, the 3X price surge had gone back down. So that's, I'm happy about that because any little bit that I was saving on my dress, you know, was being absorbed by Uber fear. So I'm happy that it's come back down. So listen, we're getting ready to head to the mainland and I'm gonna show you all what it is all about, what it's like, etc. But I wanted to let you all, let me take off my shades. I wanted to let you all know what happened. So Soso is wonderful and, and, and nice and all of that. I did feel a little something about getting left at the market and then um, the sun going down and me being out there in what seemed like a very dangerous situation. Even, even a security guard said that it was dangerous, but he escorted me and everything turned out all right. She says that she told the guy in the fabric shop that she wasn't going to be able to come back, but the guy in the fabric shop was the one who kept telling me to wait, 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 wait. So I waited and waited and waited and she never came back. And then as it started getting late, that's when I decided to head on and do my thing. Today is a Saturday morning in VI. VI is a business district, so it's pretty empty today. But I can imagine that, you know, because like when you're crossing over to the mainland, you have to cross over like these bridges, and that's where things start getting really prickly. But nonetheless, so Sosa was amazing, and I was really happy and excited to work with her. However, um, she just wasn't sure that she would be. What's the matter? Oh, he has to plug in his phone. She wasn't sure that she was going to be able to get the dresses made by Christmas Eve. And then, you know, we, she and I had worked out a solution that I would help her sew. 
but when my associate found out about that he said that that, that, that was rubbish especially for the price that she was charging so he was like no he put out a call to his network found somebody else who was able to do it for 25 percent the cost and guarantee that it will be done you know the only thing is we haven't seen her work but we had seen what Soso has an instagram page so we were able to see her work etc so the new person we haven't seen her work we don't know but i'm hoping that everything will be good you know i'm, I'm hoping that the people are adept people get clothes made all the time here so i'm glad about that but look let's show you some of saturday vi traffic uh-oh it's fell so it begins sympathy for me so I'm not really trying to put myself inside of the situation with things oh look Debbie though you remember we went by his house and stalked him no oh, good time good time all right so listen I am I'm happy about traffic being very calm right now these are beautiful buildings where it is that we are along the side of the road they have like posters and stuff out look a stop sign that's yellow and red I've never seen that before posters showing you know who's performing etc and it's just it's pretty quiet look nobody's out on the street nobody's selling anything it's just cool calm and collected and that's what it is what it is and yeah see it's just nice nice breath of fresh air so i was saying last night last night i just i forgot i got i had the opportunity to just re release and just party and have fun and it felt like I was in America you know like it was like I was so relaxed that it felt like I was in America I felt safe I felt happy I was you know just in jubilous joy just dancing and not really caring about anything else you know it was it was nice it was it was like you know how I, I see I, I don't know how to put it but you know how when something happens, look, there's a red light. People do not care about the red light. We're at a red light right now, stop. And people are driving through the red light now. People are honking at them and this, that, and the other. You see? And it's like, this is, remember I told you yes, um, the day before yesterday that people don't pay attention to the lights. The ones that are working, most of them aren't working. And the ones that are, so anyway, it's just, it's kind of like when you're in a situation Look at these buildings. You're in a situation and... Oh, all this exhaust. You're in a situation and you forget for a moment that you're... Like, I don't know. You know what? If I figure out how to explain it, I'll, I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Because it's not, it's not that being in, in Lagos is tragic or tragedy, but it kind of feels like... It kind of feels like when you forget that yeah I'll, I'll come back it looks like the Capitol record building in, in Los Angeles so where are we right now are we still on VI Oh, Army 
crossing over this water. What's on the other side of this? It's Milan. So now we're crossing into the mainland. Okay, so now we're crossing over into the mainland. All right. Telemundo. Almost yours. One of the things I noticed out here is that they have so many different types of um, soap operas here. So many different types of soap operas. Did that thing say you needed to make a U turn? Yeah, we're going to make it another bridge. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Look at those doors. What is this right here with these elaborate doors? Onika? This is Nico. Nico. Nico Stadium. Oh. Stadium. Stadium. A stadium. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. They, what do they do there? Concerts or football? It's football now. Oh, football, football, stadium? football stadium? Nice. Nice. Who's your team? Make a U turn. Yeah, it's Barcelona. Barcelona? Yeah. You're not Nigeria. Nigeria is not your team. Nigeria is not your team. MFM. Canapula. Canapula MFM. That was that one is Lagos. Yeah. Oh. MFM. I'm okay. supporting that one. Yeah. It's Mountain of Fire. Oh. Okay. Mountain of Fire. Lagos, yeah. Okay. So we're making a left turn by the thing that says no left turn. Okay. I don't know. Maybe they were talking about the turn after. Who knows? All right, so we're busing a UE under the bridge. Oh look, ships. Those are not tourist ships, right? Oh my goodness, look at those stacks. I suppose that's some sort of petrol or something. Wow.
pays drivers to the, the distance that they negotiate at the price that's that's listed you know what i'm saying so it's like oh, hey, look. it's traffic there that's what people don't want to go there okay what's up here
sisters are there for you. Six hundred meters, turn right onto Ana Street.
park yet? Okay, so the Uber driver just dropped me off. Um, it started raining, which is actually nice because the rain washes away some of the dust that was kind of flying around and everything looks anew. As you see, everything looks fresh and new. And so we're here, we're going to go find the designer right now. She's inside um, one of these buildings. We're gonna find it and then we'll be right back. All right, so we are here to see Bumi and Bunny, Bumi. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. We're here to see Bunny, and she's the designer who came recommended from a colleague. We're going to find her abode right now. All right, here we go. So the generators are on, so I guess the power is out right now. Right here on the second floor. 